what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel without further ado just skip the intro let's let's just get into it and just analyze this game and uh moving move forward without further ado let's get to it Pachos Basketball Club versus Union Sportive Monastery and I believe this is a Tunisian team and this is a Rwandan team let me see if I got it yes yes I got it Rwanda versus Tunisia really confused this this is a long name but I uh, apologize for if I can't able to pronounce it just call this Tunisia just use Patriots <laughs> it's easier so you can see Tunisian team beat the Patriots I believe this is the first loss that the Patriots have got yeah this is the first loss not sure me but I'm gonna check it out but this is the Patriots lost this game so without further ado let's get into it okay so of the bat Tunisia won okay in the assist department they shared the rock pretty well but it was a close game in the assist department not bad not bad steals 10 steals pretty good for this these are extra positions that they didn't have just like this the same way I said in the previous video if you have more steals you're getting more position and more touches on other players so they can get into their rhythm and be able to get those second chance points quickly the rebounds department okay the Tunisian team was out rebounded but not as much not never able to dominate as much but uh by much because only two rebounds shy away from tying the Patriots but yeah you know it is what it is it blocks I can say both teams were holding up pretty well in the paint so yeah they're able to stop those they're able to stop them points from going in <sighs> field goals field goals attempted historic rate 60 for the Patriots field goals made 26 43 percent from the field 67 field goals attempted by the Tunisian team 31 made 46 I said this is pretty good I like this they're almost breaking even at least 45 to 47 percent so this is I can say this is the reason why they're able to win this game because they're able to shoot at least 47 percent in this case they shot above 45 percent so they put them in the range where they can win this game easily the free throws you can see in the free throws department the Patriots took it but the Patriots sent this team to the line multiple times and I can say that's when the lead ballooned to 91 because these are extra points that the Tunisian team didn't have so the Patriots you made a mistake here you fouled out and you sent this team to the line 28 times learn to have discipline on defense because if you don't have discipline on defense you're not able to you're not able to stop that team from scoring because if you foul them send them to the line two free throws they make them if you foul again two free throws I mean if it goes in or not I mean you're sending them to the line many times so I mean you're ruining your chances of winning the game if you foul out and also if you foul out you can't but can't you can't come back to the game and play so that's one thing you have to look or work on discipline on defense we we cannot let these things happen that thing isn't gonna fly here so for any win so you need to you need to check that three points attempted oh my god I mean okay they're almost okay okay let me just give them the benefit of the doubt they're almost but I feel shooting too many threes is short hunting at this point I mean okay this was this is this is very bad because you can't just take unnecessary threes just because you're open okay sometimes you can get you can be wide open and take the shot but you should know how to pick your spots this is what I said for the previous teams as well when I was looking at the stat sheet because every time I see you shooting this I mean this is too many shots too many threes through a whole, throughout a game you have to know who are the players you can go to to get an easy three let's say for example you've got this number two guard the shooting guard who's a very very good sniper three-pointer can give him minutes create good looks for him get him to knock down the three 
by knowing your player very well and you knowing knowing your the players and the roles they have as the coach you're supposed to be able to know this guy can hit a three i'll put him at this point of the game he can get us like six points easy this guy can get us 11 points easy just shooting threes i mean it it goes down to you knowing your role on the court because you can't have just play people just pulling up from everywhere just pulling up from threes so it doesn't work like that it's a science it's basketball like you you have to know how to find your guys and get good looks to manufacture the best three so that you can be able to score them no and if not everybody is stephen curry or damian lillard but you ain't no steph curry or damian lillard to score to shoot the three like that and miss so yeah i mean the coaches coaching staff shouldn't get let these guys go unanswered or just give them a pass for being inefficient like this so this has to be this has to be disciplined and also turnovers I mean this is the reason why the Patriots lost because they turned over the ball multiple times I mean turnover steals yeah man fouling too many fouling five fouls I mean he was one shot push from Mukota one shot foul shot from getting out of the game completely I mean stop fouling unnecessarily I mean this guy did the same thing for the Morans still doing the same thing guys never learn man never learn Okay. Oh, let's wait for this thing to load. You already know we have to look at our boy Jermaine Cole. <laughs> oh, my nigga. Two points, one assist, one rebound, uh, three personal fouls. Why is this guy still playing? I don't understand it. Should he should ride the bench? I mean, this guy, this guy has just did nothing. The only guys who did something. Oh my god. Bushwa Mukota. Ah, oh, bro. This is just sad because many fouls, you're not know, scoring. Piss poor percentage. Not good, not good. How many guys scored 10 points or more? 1, 2, 3. Leading scorer, 22 points. 8 assists. At least this guy took over. But uh, there's not enough. You lost the game. This is this is trash right here. You guys go back to the drawing board and fix and fix your chemistry and possessions. Because you can't be turning over the ball at a historic rate. But let's look at the winners. This guy scored twenty eight points. Four rebounds, okay, not bad. How many guys scored ten points or more? One, two, three, four, five, not bad. Not bad. I mean, these guys just were sent to the line multiple times, so they're able to capitalize on those steals, turnovers, and free throws because of the fouling. Because these guys fouled so many times, so I mean, <sighs> Patriots, you guys, this game wasn't yours. You, you just had an off day, off night, off game. Because this is not you. This is not you. This is not the basketball we expect from this, such a team. Because, look. I mean, okay, you're, you're scoring them threes, but not good, not good. I mean, you guys just fouled out. You basically fouled out. Even if I look at this, I mean, not good, not making good shots. You guys stop falling, stop falling out. Make sure you take care of the basketball, stop the turnovers, play smart basketball, don't foul out. And these guys protect the paint, have discipline on defense and offense, be able to get over the hump because you guys have the ability to win. You guys have the ability to win, but you make keep making careless mistakes. And especially Jermaine Cole, I don't understand why you're playing heavy minutes and only scoring two points. You should stay on the bench. We don't need, they don't need you. But, but hey, I'm just if people are gonna say I'm a hater. No, I'm not a hater. But you can improve. You can at least score at least ten points. I expect like at least 
10 points. Let me just lower the bar for you. 10 points. Bosho Mokota expect you to score 15 points and at least grab 11 boards. Just like the same game. You, that's the, the other game that you average 11 and 11. You can do the same thing. I'm looking at you because you play for the Morans. And you're a guy like... And, and you are the guy that I listen to mostly in music. But I expect you guys to step up and play well. And you guys just improve on improve on the things that i just addressed in the video you have the ability to do it and uh yeah if you guys like the video like the video comment what you think about the video it can be anything it, <laughs> i mean comment what you think and um yeah please be sure to hit the subscribe button turn on notification post post like the video it helps me it helps me out a ton and um so that we can continue to drop more gems like this so you can never miss any upload i make and uh until next time peace